Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you how to use Pixlr. So you're going to go to the website that I'll be posting and then you're going to go to Playful Pixlr XR. So over here, you're going to go to Create New and you can choose whatever size. I usually choose Instagram because it's a square. Alright, so I am doing the album Fine Line by Harry Styles. My friend asked me to make that for her. So I'm going to go to Browse. And now I'm browsing, browsing. Um, the first thing I'm going to put down is this picture of Harry Styles. So I'm going to hit Open. And Add Current. So now I'm going to fit this picture into the square. So you pull on the edges using the arrow until it fits. Harry Styles is going to be my focal point, so I'm making sure he's centered. All right. The next image I'm going to insert, I'm going to go to Browse, is I selected a photo of a tightrope walker. I'm going to hit Open, Add Current. So at first he will be covering Harry Styles like this. But you can see he's on a new layer. So here's what we're going to do. This button here allows you to digitally manipulate the photo that you've selected. So I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to go to transparency. And I'm going to pull it down. So that you can just barely see the type rope walker. And I'm going to play around with this a bit until I get what I want. So this is almost what I want, but not quite. So I'm going to go over to filters and I'm going to mess. So, oh, so it's giving this error message. That's because I need to select the layer. So I'm going to select this again. And I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit and see if I can get more of an effect that I was wanting. So when I brighten it up a little bit, oh, that does not look the same on my phone, um, I can see more of the details of the clouds and more of the details of the type walker, but I still want to be able to see Harry Styles better. So I'm going to do a little bit of vignette, which is where you darken the edges. So you can just try out all these different ones. I don't know what they all mean, to be honest. Keep trying them out until you figure out what you want. So now I'm going to go to Effect, and I'm going to do Colors, and do a Supertone. I'm not sure that's what I want. What if I turn it down a little bit? Hey, I like that. So this is kind of along the lines of what I wanted. So the next thing I need to do is get my title. So I'm going to go over to the text box, but first... Before I add the text, I think I'm going to put a shape at the bottom to cover right here. So I'm going to go to, where is it? Shapes. And I'm gonna choose a geometric shape that fits what I'm looking for. I like, hmm. I do like that one, but it's the wrong color. I like this one, this pink one. I think I accidentally selected the wrong one. Nope, I don't want that. So if you make a mistake, just hit undo. I know these Chromebooks can be <laughs> the worst. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna choose this pink one. So now I've got the pink square and I'm going to pull it to the bottom of the page. So it's matching up the way I want it to. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to look up some of Harry Styles' albums. 
because this is gonna help me choose the kind of text I wanna use. I wanna make sure it's kind of fitting with the usual aesthetic he would put on his album covers. So it looks like he likes to use very basic font like that. So that's what the kind of font I'm going to choose. So I'm gonna go over here. And I think I'm going to put it in white. White is a really nice contrast for dark colors. So I can go over here. I don't think I like this font, so I'm gonna backspace it. And I can choose what font I want. I like this one or that one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So first I'm gonna write his name. It's hard to do while holding my phone. I'll show you guys in a second. All right, I got Harry Styles right in here, so I'm gonna drag it, put it right here. And then next, I'm gonna choose a different font for the name of the album just to differentiate oh no it's changing that one hold on i'm going to make a new text box so i'm going to say add new text um it generates these little quotes for you so you can just backspace those and i'm going to put fine line and I'm going to change the font I think I want like a cursive type font but not quite cursive, like this. Mm, I don't like how it looks. It's really nice how they write it out for you to help you decide. I like this font, but I think it needs to be a little bigger. So I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna just make the size bigger until I get the size I want. And then the last thing I think I want to do is I think I want to put a line in between. So I'm going to go to add element. And I'm going to go line. I'm going to choose the simple peach line. Fits with the theme. And I am going to use that to connect the words. It needs to be much smaller. Now I'm going to move this text. Whoops. I moved the box. This is when it gets tricky when there's all these things right next to each other. And it's hard to move. So you can just go over here to select what you want. You can see this takes practice. I'm still getting the hang of it. <laughs> so have some grace for me. There we go.
So I'm just adjusting it to make sure I like the way it looks. Make sure you're taking this level of time to make sure that you like the way things turn out. Because those are the little details that will set your art apart. There we go. There is my completed album cover. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.